Hi, welcome to this instructional video for workshop software and how to manage serial numbers. So first up, what I'm gonna do is jump into products and I'm going to pull up a product that has got a serial number against it, which is this radio. So we're gonna sell a radio to somebody or we're gonna buy and sell radios. And one of the things that is the difference here or what makes this product special is that this flag here, which says requires serial number. So if you set that to yes, it means that when you purchase this product, and when you sell it, it will ask you for a serial number. So you've got to manage that serial number. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and do an invoice for somebody or I'm gonna purchase it and I'm gonna sell it and I'm gonna show you the process, right? So first up, let's go do a supplier invoice and we're gonna buy this from a particular supplier. It doesn't really matter who. Uh, we're just gonna put our invoice number in. We're going to put our product in, which is this serial number and sorry, this radio, and then we're gonna go and click this button here, which is to add a serial number in. So if we click this, what we can do is we can go plus and we can put in the serial number. So if we go put in the serial number that's on that radio and go save and return to invoice, that will now put that serial number against that purchase. Now note that if you have updated the quantity, so let's say you put purchased five of these, it would you would have to put in five serial numbers. It wouldn't let you process, so the system checks to make sure that this is all correct, and you have to go and put those five serial numbers in. So I'll put one serial number in in this instance. I'm gonna go and process that. And that invoice is done, that product is purchased, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and sell it. So if we go and do a customer invoice, and we're just gonna choose again some random customer, it doesn't really matter who, um, and we could choose a vehicle if we wanted to or not, that doesn't really matter. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just choose this serial number uh, radio again, and then what happens here is that when I save this invoice, Right, it will go and ask us for a serial number. So, or if I went and processed it, it would do that as well. But I can click this button here. So then we haven't actually selected any serial numbers at the moment. So if we go add more, it will list all of the serial numbers that are essentially outstanding, right? So if we go and click on this serial number, which is the only one, but we could have purchased 10 of them or 50 or 100, it doesn't really matter. And then we can go attach, right? And so that does um, now attaches that to this invoice and we go done. And then that has now been allocated to this particular transaction. So if I now go and process this transaction, that serial number has now been allocated. So if we go back into the product and we then go and find that product again, you'll notice now that if we have a look down here, you'll see that there are now serial numbers in here. So what this has got, this has got the job card, the invoice number, the supplier invoice number, and the status of it. So the status will either be it is in stock, right? So you've purchased it or it's been sold, which is the case here. So um, what we can actually do too is if you wanted to, you can open up and it opens up that actual customer invoice uh, for that particular transaction. Or the other option is if I just go back to it and I'm just gonna grab that serial number. So if we go the 5748744425, uh, what you can do is you can search for it, right? So uh, once you can search for it, you can see that it's got that supplier invoice. We can open, for example, uh, the supplier invoice. We can view the product or we can view the actual sales invoice. So if I want to look at the supplier invoice, I can click on that and I can see where I purchased it. If I type that same number in again, I could have opened up the actual sales invoice. And so you've got this complete history of what's going on with that particular serial number. So it gives that complete track of what's gone on. So there you go. Uh, uh, it's a great new addition to workshop software. It's available on the gold level of workshop software. Uh, it's under products. You've got to set the serial number, buy and sell it, and it keeps a track of all of those serial numbers, which is really cool.